got wife, boy, problems, and I can't keep a job. No matter how many times you tell me, all I do is get it wrong. I ain't coming at you sideways. Alright, so it's no secret that I'm not the easiest person to get along with. I'm not the easiest person to be around. I'm kind of an introvert, uh, a hermit. I haven't been a good father, and I haven't been a good son, and uh, I haven't really been that good of a person. I mean, I'm 29, and I live with my grandmother, which family tragedies put us in this place, but I've really just been using that as a crutch not to move out on my own because I'm a bit of a man-child and when I say I'm a bit of a man-child what I mean is uh, I play video games that's not gonna stop it's something that makes me happy so I'm not gonna stop doing it um, it doesn't hurt anybody so uh, but I have put video games before a lot of things in my life and that's gonna change uh, be a more positive person man I'm I stay in this negative spot sometimes, and I know everyone can relate to what I'm saying because everyone stays in the negative spot sometimes. But the negative spot isn't good for anybody. So I'm going to practice being a more positive person. Maybe that'll help. Doesn't help that, you know, clinically diagnosed manic bipolar and not really in that control of my emotions sometimes. So, and being manic bipolar means that I am an angry person all the time. I never realized how much of an angry person I was until I started taking the medication, the, the mood stabilizers, and living a normal life. Then I was just like, holy cow. And then I quit taking them again because my life was great. So I quit taking them. Well, then my whole life fell apart. And I spiraled out of control again. And uh, had to get back on the, the track on taking the correct medications. But yeah, that happens, man. Life happens. Life happens. Thought I could handle it, and I couldn't. Not very well in the coping skills, I guess. Uh, but man, it's time to grow up, time to man up. And uh, I hope y'all can grow up with me, man up with me. It's time to get things done. And let me be clear that I'm not saying that I'm any kind of loser or anything because I'm 29 and I live with my grandmother. I've taken steps to better my life already. It's just, it's taken longer than I expected. I have been able to hold down this job for uh, almost a year. So kudos to me. And uh, I like what I do. I like people I work with. So, hell yeah. But, uh, so that's one step into growing up is steady employment. Check. I'm there. So, I thought everything else would just fall in place after I got steady employment, but that is not what happened. Uh, things got more chaotic, actually, because I went from not having any money to having a little bit of money to having a little more money to having a little more money. And, yeah, I got them raises. And, uh... I wasn't spending it very smartly. I still don't spend it very smartly. I could have so much more than what I have right now, but I'm happy. I was just coming from someone who didn't grow up with much and didn't have a whole lot, but always seemed to entertain myself. So this is coming from middle class America, you know what I'm saying? Trailer park guys. This is this is coming from people like that. That's my people. So when I make a little bit of money, I spend it irresponsibly, work hard, play hard. Yeah. That has got me nowhere for a long time now. So that's got to change. I've got to make smarter investments. We all got to make smarter investments. Right? Uh, so I was able to save a little bit of money, and I was proud of myself. So then I started watching some stuff on YouTube about this game I really want, and I ran right out and got it. Then I realized there's some other stuff that I could use. And so I ran out and got that. And I like the fact that I was able to save a little bit of money before the next paycheck so I'm not broke come next paycheck. And I was able to save a lot more than I thought, but in the end, I still spent it. So, I mean, did I really save it? <laughs> I saved it for one extra week uh, than I would have originally. 
So, progress maybe? Uh -huh. Oh, it's gonna be a long journey. It's gonna be. There's gonna be some heartbreak. There's, there's gonna be some heartbreak. There's gonna be some letdown. I'm gonna hate you. You're gonna hate me. But in the end, I think it'll all work out for everybody. Because I'm another. I got these little things I say all the time, and you may think it's stuff that I say, but I really like live by this stuff, that good things happen to good people, and the universe will always work itself out. No matter how crazy the situation is, for me, in one shape, way, or another, the universe has worked itself out. Not that I didn't help it, or not that I didn't get shown the path I was supposed to take, but I can't stress over things you can't change. I mean, surely you can understand that. My mother told that to me a long time ago. She li she lived her adult life as a poor life. You can't stress things can't change. So. Got white boy problems and I can't keep a job. No matter how many times you 